hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm here with another recipe on how to make porridge using irish potato i know a lot of you think that irish potatoes are made just for fries but hey here is a different way to eat and enjoy your irish so i had to use um yeah i had to clean some of my irish and i diced them into the sizes that i wanted so i'm going to be frying them and the essence of frying it is just to prevent um, it's from scattering the pot so I'm not going to be over frying my potato I just need um, the golden brown color and that will be good to go So because of the size of my pot, I had to fry about three batches of potato. But if you have a bigger size of pot or frying pan, you could just do all in one batch. So I'm going to be using some fresh tomatoes dried meat and some dried fish but if you don't have this you could use whatever you have i love using this for this recipe because i think it gives it this um very unique taste but like i said if you don't have them it's fine use whatever you have your fresh meat and whatever you have available at home so i'm going to be frying all these together and i want to fry them enough to prevent the sour taste that comes from my tomatoes yeah So I'm going to be adding in some Maggi cubes. You add according to the quantity of potato you're going to use. And then here I have my mixed spice, any mixed spice you have available. I added in some white pepper and then some salt. And then curry, my curry powder. Guys, you just cannot you cannot eliminate the curry powder make sure you're adding in this curry powder very very important and then i stir guys using dried fish and dried meat geez it changes everything like my kitchen was like my neighbors <laughs> kept knocking ivory what are you preparing <laughs> wow yeah if you have these guys just go ahead try out using dried fish and dried meat it changes the game of your dish trust me it does just look at this hmm and you know the beautiful thing about this dish is that i had to chop my my meat into smaller pieces sm smaller sizes such that if you're eating a spoon taking in a spoon of potato you're actually biting in some meat like how cool is that <laughs> so i added in some of my vegetables here i have carrots green beans green pepper and some chopped onion you could add in whatever you will have and if you do not like this you can as well ignore so i had to stir in properly so i added in some of my oh i added in all my potatoes so you need this recipe needs just very little quantity of water because the potatoes has already been cooked when you fry them i added in some of my crayfish i don't like my crayfish grinded completely into powder I love seeing some of them big and some of them grounded and then i had some pepper my powdered pepper if you don't have powdered pepper it's fine use your fresh pepper and then while stirring guys please be very careful because this potato is very soft it's it's soft and you don't want it to be to to scatter so you want to be very careful while stirring and then i noticed that my recipe needed a little bit of salt so i had to add in little guys look at this interesting thing i did here i added in some roasted corn <laughs> this is totally optional if you don't have them it's fine 
you could add in boiled corn or sweet corn whatever corn you have but this is optional okay and then i let it cook for just two minutes two minutes guys and see what i have here not so much water but just just very very okay it's not you don't need so much water you don't need this recipe to be watery you just need it moist if i should use that <laughs> but see just look how just look at this and then i will go ahead to dish in dish in i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just excited again but just look look at this just see how attractive this is my god oh my god man like this was way cool this was way cool this this is rich this is so rich it's attractive it's rich it's nutritious you want to try this okay guys you want to try this by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the like button so i get to know you're having interest in whatever i'm sharing with you guys okay mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. Now what is interesting about this is that you literally eat a piece of meat or fish with every bite. And look at my, okay, I have some corn here. Mm, so delicious oh my god oh my god oh my god okay so if you want to know how I make this recipe just okay <clears throat> go to my youtube channel and check it out and if you want to see more recipes from Irene please subscribe to my channel and i'm going to you know bombard you with recipes mm. guys i'm loving this i am loving this i am loving this oh my god 